today I have to somehow take this bearing out because now it's stuck and I can't push it down or like pull it out by hand. So essentially that's happening because the intakes that I made for the bearings, the holes are too small for this, this screw. For this, I probably have to either somehow take it out, but it's like wedged in there. So I don't know if that's possible. So what I'm thinking of doing is just drilling them out a little bit. And so yeah, we'll see what happens. Before taking out the inserts, I wanted to see if heating the hole up with a soldering iron would expand the hole, as I really didn't want to go through the effort of trying to take out each insert. I soon found out, however, that heating the hole up didn't really work as I was hoping, and instead just made the hole look messy. As a desperate last measure, even though I knew it wasn't going to work, I tried to drill up the bearing insert while it was still inside the bearing, but obviously that didn't work out. I switched to using a Phillips head screw bit to take these out, as it was much easier and quicker. Then, once that was done, I mounted the bearings to the ring gear. There was one screw that I couldn't screw in or out, so I'm pretty sure it got cross-threaded somehow. I'll have to try to see if any lubricant will work, and if not, I might have to cut it off. If anyone has a better idea, however, please feel free to let me know. With the second stage gear pretty much done, I was now able to test if the dimensions I set were correct. Upon placing the disc within the ring gear, I got really concerned because it was a decently tight fit, making it difficult to spin. But after playing with it for a while, it gradually became easier to turn, which was really good because I was not going to spend another half kilogram of filament for these discs. Additionally, the motion of my cyclotal disc looked as it was supposed to, meaning that all the bearings were contacting the disc properly and more importantly, that the tolerances seemed to be fine. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how these turned out, except for that one cross-threaded screw. 